Well, this video was supposed to be gone up a while ago. I Actually, it was supposed to go up in June. It was supposed to, yeah, it was supposed to go up in June. <laughs> well, a lot has changed in our magical little world. So, instead of doing something funny, we're going to give you a bit of a we're sorry. Are we really sorry? No. no. So, um... You get what you get and you get no more. If you were a Patreon subscriber or bought us a cup of coffee, get a little bit more from us instead of free content. Link, links below. But now, let's sit here and talk. No, we are not doing a book review. But what we are going to do, as you can see here, we have Battletech and Mac Warrior, And what does that mean? They're the same thing. It means it's time to review a game that's on the tabletop and played with miniatures as well. Why? Because a lot of people are mad at our crack dealer. Yes, a lot of people are mad at uh, Games Workshop, but we have Stockholm Syndrome, so we keep buying from them. We're but sorry, guys. Unfortunately for me, I've been playing Battletech since I was my teenager's age. I was playing MechWarrior on the computer. And as a loyal clan member, this is gonna be where, oh God, I can't even do that. Cut, edit. But, well, as we've said before, being part of the Inner Sphere and being part of the uh, Star League Defense Force that went off into the distance, well, Let's just say I've been playing Mech Warrior since Mech Warrior 2 and have been playing this game forever and a day since I was <laughs> knee high to an Atlas toe. Let's see, I was playing Mech Warrior back in 95 on the computer. 93. And you do have a year or so on me, so. But um, with that being said, if you do see Battletech out there and you see Mech Warrior, know that they are in the same universe. Battletech was originally, as I said, it, you'll see in the video, was just an easier way to get around pesky licensing laws. So, I think with that being said, we need to jump into your review of Battletech. The tabletop game. Stay Enjoy. tuned. Hello, war gamers. Oh wait. That's not my channel. <clears throat> Take two. Hey folks, it's Dylan here with uh, Tabletop uh, Foundry. And what is this in front of me? First and foremost, it is just me today and we have a special episode for you. It is a unboxing of, well, you already saw it. Battletech, a game of armored combat by Catalyst Games. Now, as you've probably seen on our posters and our uh, uh, banner, we do play Battletech. This game is brought to you by Catalyst Game Labs. They have inherited such a massive energy from uh, the Battletech slash MechWarrior community because they are one and same and interchangeable. Um, and today I was able to find this while cruising around town. Uh, this game, as you can see by the beautiful artwork, has not been opened yet. I've only taken the cellophane off so I can sit there and not have to struggle with that one-handed. So let's get to this unboxing. Uh, but before we do that, let's flip it over. A galaxy awaits. It is dawn of the 31st century. You are a mech warrior, master of a multi-ton towering avatar of destruction that is a culmination of more than 3,000 years of battlefield technology development. A precious heirloom passed from parent to child across centuries, an unassailable mark of your station. Whether a soldier of fortune or a true blue patriot, you drop into hot zones across a thousand worlds to expand the star-spanning empire of one of the noble great houses. Battletech is the world's greatest armored combat game. Inside this box, you'll discover 
epic clashes, dynamic characters, and a maraud of gaming experiences for any type of player. Miniatures to RPG play, hobby painting to fiction and beyond. A game of armored combat includes everything you need to start tossing dice and moving miniatures on your gaming table. Do you have what it takes to plant the banner of victory and become a legend? Leap into the action and find out. And this is, as I said, a Catalyst Games with the help of Tops, It retails for $59.99. I picked it up today for $59.99 at Barnes & Nobles in Colleen. Uh, they do have it in stock, not just the introductory pack, which is about $19.99. So let's get into the box, as I try to do this one-handed. Well, I couldn't do it one-handed, I know. I am a gimp, I only have one good functioning arm. So we got into the box, and let's see what's actually in this thing. So one of the things I do like about the new Battletech um, board game compared to the other games that Battletech have come before is these are all resin printed. Well, I'm pretty sure they feel like resin print. Uh, Battle Max. Uh, the fact that for roughly $60, if you will, you come with two lances, that's four mechs each, and this is the first thing that greets you when you open the box. Uh, so before we get into the max, let's see what this is. Battletech. A Cold Blood Commander's Mission, Eye Storm, by William H. Keith. This sounds kind of cool. Um, I've noticed with the um, introductory box for $19.99, as I stated, it comes with a little novella. And it just kind of gives you the backstory. This is set way before uh, the Succession Wars that this game is set uh, in. But it's fun to have. We have a pack of what looks like Alpha Strike cards. That is going to be fun. Some dice. Some minis. And let's actually take a look at the minis. So, Shadowhawk. Ooh, that's real pretty. Catapult. A light commando. A locust. Uh, Thunderhawk. Wolverine, which I think I already have a Wolverine. One of my favorite mechs, an awesome. And a Battle Master. Very well made, as always. Solid. And very pretty, very highly detailed. So let's move the mechs and minis out of the way. And let's get into the rest of this. Battletech Primer. Primer. What is this? Oh, cool. So this is just your universe overview. Uh, tells you the history of Battletech uh, from the Star League era of 2005. Uh, all the way up to 2780. The Succession Wars, 2781 to 3049. My favorite era, the Clan Invasion, 3050 to 3061. The FedCom Civil War, 3062 to 3067. The Jihad, and then the Dark Ages, which is the current time frame um, where Ill Clan comes out. Map of the Inner Sphere, with all the uh, houses, House Steiner, Krita, Davian, Li uh, Liao, and House Merrick. And this is as of 3025. History of the Star League with, actually, I'm, I'm very impressed. Some of this is classic art from uh, the early 2000s. Uh, I remember her very well. Uh, breakdown of the houses with individual photos. Uh, the Federated Sons, the Jaconis Combine, Capellan Confederation. House Merrick and are the Free Worlds League. Uh, the Lyran Ca uh, Commonwealth, Steiner, with the MRB, the Mercenary Review Board. 
what are battle mechs, what are mech warriors, and just some of the other uh, things you could pick up. Uh, technical readouts, which is your individual codex for different area, uh, eras, as it shows here, the Succession Wars. Battletech Manual, which is just more in-depth rulebook. The Game of Total Warfare. In the quick edition, Alpha Strike. Um, this is what we've been teaching lately. And of course you have all the wonderful, wonderful war books um, that kind of just flesh out the universe. Uh, the Hunters, I Am Jade Falcon, Blood Name, Prince of Havoc, Path of Glory. Some of these are wonderful books. And I love that they reimagined uh, the covers. Ooh, your big beefy rule book. How to play the game. Very well, very glossy. And just very well put together. It looks like it's going to sit and hold up very well. Um, multiple uses, pulling it out, checking things, and especially teaching my teenagers how to play. How damage is done. Heat. Ugh. Other actions, piloting skills. And this is very, oh, in tactical scenarios. And mech warrior data, nice. So I can finally sit there and bring back Archer Kell and uh, get him back in a battle mech again. How to build mechs, weapons and equipment. Very nice. And of course, some pretty, pretty paints jobs of uh, other skilled pilots and painters and hobbyists. Uh, what's this? Battletech mech record sheets. Awesome. So, this is where I was really happy. Um, back in the FASA era, early 2000s, Battletech was a wonderful game. But being a teenager, growing off mommy and daddy's money and whatever I could do working part-time jobs, trying to find a way to print off and photocopy Battletech record sheets was a pain in the rear. So, we discovered ways to sit and make it easier, and we did, for the most part, very well with it. Battletech now, what they decided to do was give you every mech that came out when this came out and find a way to photocopy individual books you need to play. So as I said, the Shadowhawk, the Griffin, and other mechs as needed, the Thunderbolt, uh, with its two different variations. So this is the TDR 5 SE and the TDR 5 S models. And so you could use everything in this game right out the box, including making your own custom mechs. So they give you a blank record sheet in the back. Man, this bring, uh, bring back memories. What else is in here? We have two map sheets. Uh, one looks like a urban map and open field, and one is a desert terrain. Some more mountainous terrain and more desert. So very much uh, standard things. Uh, two maps, full hex, uh, hex square. And this is something that's really nice. So Battletech was always known as a very confusing game. There's a lot to it. It's not as bad as, say, Warhammer or uh, some of the other typical RPG uh, tabletop games. But they do give you a quick, uh, quick record sheet of your attack modifiers, how to sit there and run things. And what I notice is it shows you where to look it up for the rules itself. So that's very nice. And then some cardboard push pins. Uh, so we have terrain, some um, wooded, water, uh, scatter terrain, and then you can flip it over for the desert environment. And then again, the exact same mechs we came in the box. So two, four, six, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, nine mechs with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, so eight plastics, nine mechs on the push board, and that is everything in the box. Stay tuned. And here we are, folks. Uh, you notice that the screen's a little bit different. And with this time, though, now 
I just went and found my uh, beginner's box side by side with the game of Armored Combat. So between these two kits, as you can see, I've already have my painted mechs, uh, my Griffin, and my Wolverine, and they st are exactly what you get with this set. So as you notice, my Wolverines are identical, except one is painted in Fedcon colors, not based, and the other one is bare plastic. Um, I mean, with these two sets, granted it's almost $80 worth of stuff, it gives you three map sheets, uh, pilots, and a lot of these little cardboard mechs. And I don't know what game out there for roughly the introductory kit of uh, the beginner box, if you will, of $19.99. And then the full game being $59.99 gives you roughly a company's worth of max. And then when you buy the full game, they give you more to where now I'm sitting at and potentially can field a tire battalion worth of max in a matter of seconds. And granted, I haven't put down the punch pens yet, but just sitting here and looking at this, you get a lot for a basic game that could last for hours. And if you're just buying this for yourself, I could sit there and paint all these up in my green and yellow color scheme. And this could be a very well starting out playable uh, company. And then with the cardboard units, I could sit there, my little brother or niece and nephew or even my kids wanted to play. I'm gonna give them that. And I still have a very playable force. For the money that you're getting and you're spending, you get more bang for your buck with this. This to me is an amazing product and an amazing game, a little on the complicated side, but it is fun and enjoyable for all to see and do. I highly recommend picking up both, if you can, the beginner box set and a game of armored combat. If money is an issue, definitely do not shy away from the beginner box for $20. Coming with two mechs and all of these cardboard in all the rules being found online, besides your your little introductory rules to run the half sheet, no heat, this game is amazing. Me and my kids have had many hours playing not just this, little one-on-one -on -one matches and lance on lance, but now we are expanding and showing that the game itself is still alive and still growing. It's me from Tabletop Foundry does give this two thumbs up and I highly, highly suggest you find a way to sit there and pick this up. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. And comment cookie for the algorithm.